Hey Pokemon trainers, welcome back to a little bit more Pokemon trading card game online. Still having a super good time playing this game and I hope you are too. I hope you guys are out there checking out these theme decks. They're really fun to play. And uh, and as I've noticed, um, there is a bit of a meta for this game. So if you're interested in, uh, in not building your own decks, but you're interested in playing against some other people and playing against some tough decks, um, check this out. Um, develop your own, uh, your own strategies and everything. Um, I've been having a good time doing it too. I've been climbing up the sort of versus rewards we are almost to our uh, our pack opening our two pack opening um, so we're going to keep on going towards that um, i'm going to jump into some leaf charge because right now this is the uh the hot deck um, so i do want to check it out um, hopefully we can get our win streak up even higher than it's been and guess what there's dunsparce looking so cool looking so awesome I love this Dunsparce and I love this deck. It's got an answer for everything. It's got ways to accelerate tons and tons of energy on board. It's got ways of accelerating tons and tons of Pokemon on board. Um, so right now it is uh, it's the hot ticket and we're going to play it and we're going to win some games. Hopefully, hand, uh, fingers crossed um, uh, that we pull out another win. And we are playing against Empoleon with this one. Um, Looks like my opponent sort of had the, the same idea that I did, um, grabbing that Empoleon. Um, let's hope that we go second here. Okay, we are going second, so we can hope for that Manectric, that Electric Start, and we do get it. And we have a Trico in hand, we have a How in hand, we have a Lady in hand. We got a, a beautiful draw on our first turn. Um, and I did just pick up this Empoleon deck, this Imperial Command, um, because I wanted it specifically to combat those, uh, those Lycanroc decks. Unfortunately, with my first game with that... Um, with that deck, I did go up against Garchomp and I got stomped. Well, I didn't get stomped, right? It was a pretty good game. Um, so if you want to check that out, that's a, that's going to be up on the channel as well. Um, so that game was was pretty cool. Um, my opponent played a really good game. Um, I felt like I played a pretty good game. Uh, and I learned a lot about the deck. I learned a lot about um, playing in general. And, and it felt really good. Um, so we did just go uh, did just play a game with this deck. So we sort of know what to expect from this Imperial Command deck. Uh, we know we need to be careful of um, Empoleon. Uh, and we need know we need to be careful of, uh, of uh, a couple of other things. Um, so I think with this game our strategy is going to be to keep our uh, our bench sort of small-ish because Empoleon does uh, benefit from the number of Pokemon that's on our bench and the number of Pokemon that's on our opponent's bench so by keeping our bench sort of low uh, sort of um, uh, sort of trim down and, uh, and ready to fight we'll be able to to do a lot with this so we can get our manectric we're going to be able to get a lot of energy accelerated on the board um unfortunately we do not have any electric energy so i think we're going to have to lady this time in order to get some electric energy into our hand and that's also going to get us a chance to accelerate uh, a few more uh energies onto uh onto some of our other pokemon so let's grab two and grab two of those so we'll just we'll just grab the old uh two and two and when we'll have a ton of energy in our hand and we'll be able to do something really uh really more effective here so i think with this double charge i'm only going to accelerate one energy onto trico because septile does only need one energy to do powerful storm um actually you know what let's do two because the more energy we have on our side of the board uh the the more powerful Sceptile is going to be. So we're going to grab those. We're going to put them both on Trico. We're going to hope for that Grovile and so that we can get our Sceptile out. But having this Manectric start is um, is really, really good. Uh, super strong. Double Charge is a very strong move to go to put down on some of these early Pokemon. Um, and then we can hope that, uh, that we don't fall asleep here. Let's wake up. Okay, we don't wake up. But that's okay. No harm done. Um... This time I think I will howl in order to try and grab that, um, in order to grab that Grovile. Um, we got Kakui, we did get Nest Ball, which is not going to be a help for us. Um, like I said, I think I want to keep my, my bench sort of small um, and able to do something. Actually, we could switch and put Trico in. Or actually, let's Nest Ball. Let's nest ball and see if we can switch and put something else in that's going to be a little bit better for us. Um, Iron Guru, I don't think it's going to be a big help for us because we don't, we're not even close to having a, a small hand. Um, we only have, okay, so we do have two Groviles in deck. Let's take a quick peek through here. Our pro strats looking through the, uh, looking through the deck to make sure that we see what we have here. Um, so let's put, 
Let's put Snover down, I think. No. Maybe, you know what, let's grab Chin Chow. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. We're going to throw down Chin Chow. We're going to throw an energy onto Chin Chow to do a pound, but we do have that spark, so we're going to switch out Manectric right now just so I don't get stuck in a bunch of uh, in a bunch of sleeps, and we're going to be able to actually do something here. Um, I don't really need to accelerate that much more energy. I don't have enough Pokemon to, to support this much energy, but having Chin Chow down uh, and getting a Lantern later on um, can be will be uh, sort of uh, useful for us. Um, so I don't want to get stuck in a bunch of sleeps with my Manectric. Um, it is going to take us a little bit more time to uh, to get uh, Manaphy taken down with Chin Chow, but I can I, I can always uh, retreat him out next turn if he wakes up. Um, but I do just uh, get that that uh, sleep off of Manectric, and it gives me a chance to do an attack um, no matter what, even with the sleep on there. So let's hope we wake up here. We do not wake up, um, so that's okay. We did get our Orin Guru, which is good because we can start throwing some energy down on that without much of a worry. Um, do I want to Kukui this time? I think I do want to Kukui this time. I don't think I'm going to need the extra energy or the extra damage from this. So let's Kukui and see if we can grab something useful. So we got Snover and Obama Snow. So that's also very good. So let's um, start getting these two fired up. Um, and even if we lose Chin Chow early, um, that's not going to be that big of a deal. And then we do stay asleep, so that is unfortunate. I am still looking very hard. I'm hoping beyond hope for that uh, for that uh, Grove Oil to come out because Sceptile is going to be pretty strong on this one. I did uh, sort of make the mistake of getting a lot of Pokemon on my board. I'm not sure if Orin Guru is going to be a uh, is going to be super useful for us. Luckily, our opponent did only get one timer ball on that one, and uh, and looks like we're going to get uh, probably an Obama Snow out on the board um, here very soon. And, but we will have our own Obama Snow uh, sort of to take care of that. Do we have anything in here? No, we don't. So we don't have any energy in the discard pile, so we're not going to be able to accelerate that energy using Blessing of the Frost. But uh, my opponent does pull Primplup out. Um, so luckily my opponent did not get two timer balls on there because uh, I think he would have been able to do Primplup and Empoleon on that. Um, so let's just hope that we wake up this time. And we do wake up, so that's going to be good for us um, to, to accelerate some more energy using Manectric. Uh, we don't have anything in there, we already knew that. Let's throw another energy onto Obama Snow, and then we'll accelerate the last two energies using Manectric onto Obama Snow, and we'll be in a pretty good spot. So let's retreat this out. Let's put in Manectric. Let's do the double charge, and then we'll put the last two we'll put the last two um, energies onto Obama Snow, and that'll get him fully charged up. And then we can, uh, and then hopefully we can start using Orange Guru here coming up. And we do get another Chin Chow for our prize cards. That's not too bad, um, but we did get rid of this annoying Manaphy, so we won't be slept anymore. Um, so that's looking pretty good. And we're still hoping for that Grove Oil. Come on, Grove Oil. We need you. We need you out. So it looks like Primplup is out. Um, hopefully my opponent does not grab the Empoleon, uh, but he does. Uh, and it looks like Manectric is going to go down. But that's not too big of a deal because we do have a fully charged up Obama Snow on board. And we can, uh, and we can, and even if we lose our Manectric, uh, which is 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So that's uh, 120 damage, which is kind of a lot. Uh, Sceptile will stand up to that. Obama Snow will stand up to that. And of course, Obama Snow does have the sleep ability. So even if Manectric goes down, uh, we'll be able to get Obama Snow up in there and, uh, and do some sleeps of our own uh, in order to take that out. But I'm, I'm proud of Manectric. He did his job. He was able to... Um, he was able to um, uh, accelerate a ton of energy. I think I'm on a timer ball this time just so I can try to get the lantern uh, or the girl vial. Um, and hopefully we can hit a heads on this. Come on, heads. Tails. Oh, my gosh. All right, two tails on that. Um, to be expected, I suppose. Um, so we're just going to do the Hypnohammer 
and we're going to uh, and we're going to hope that we can keep Empoleon asleep, and we will be able to take him out in sort of two moves. Yes. Okay. Oh no, they got the heads. Okay. Okay. So this isn't looking too good right now. Um, Obama Snow can take one more can take one hit from um, from Empoleon, but looks like the Pokemon Fan Club is going to get my opponent enough Pokemon on the board to get Empoleon strong enough to take out Obama Snow. So I think we're going to be in a kind of a bad spot. Um, man, we just, we just have not gotten that Grove Oil, and, and that's sort of what we've been looking for. Getting those two tails on that timer ball was uh, was pretty devastating for us. Um, so I think Obama Snow is going to be going down. Um, I think with a bit of energy, Oranguru can take out Empoleon. Um, but we're going to have to get more energy uh, in order to do that. So let's put in Chin Chow for now. Because um, we can use that as sort of a sacrifice and see what we can pull out so we did get the lantern but we have no energy for that so that's unfortunate uh we were just going to get rid of this um chin chow anyway so we'll put this chin chow out i don't know if i want to grab anything out of here i i might i may want to grab manectric but i don't know if it's actually you know what Let's rescue Stretcher and let's put those three back into our deck. So I always forget that we have this Shuffle 3 Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Um, so we're going to grab these three, stick them back into the deck, uh, and hope that we draw them again. Okay, so we can put Lantern down on... We want to put it on this one, um, but that's not too bad. So let's uh, let's do an Orange Guru. Let's do an Instruct and see if we can grab something of use. We did get a nest ball. Uh, nest ball is not going to be too helpful for us right now. Um, really, I'm looking for that Grove Oil. Really, I am looking for that Grove Oil. And even now, we don't have uh, too much energy. Um, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. So let's hit done here. Um, yeah. Let's hit done here. Uh, we know we're going to lose Chin Chow. I don't want to put something else on the board because I don't have anything really to put it on. Um, so we are going to get this Lantern out um but it's not i don't it's just, it's just not going to be that helpful um getting those two tails on our timer ball um really i think uh was the turning point of this game um so it looks like another obama snow is going to come out and our opponent's just going to slowly keep on building his side of the board up uh in order to to combat us um but not getting that septile and they're not getting the grow while and getting the septile in there um has been really really unfortunate for us because that that would have been the pokemon to to put out instead of obama snow um so that we could have taken out that empoleon all right so we are going to get whirlpooled we did expect this um shoot I guess we can put Chin Chow back out. Uh, this is not going to be very helpful. Uh, we do have the lantern in hand, but that's not going to be able to stand up to another. Yeah, this this draw is just too bad. Um, I think that's it. I think our opponent has it. Um, so we are just going to throw in the towel here. Unfortunately, we do take a loss with the uh, with a leaf charge, but that's how it goes sometimes. We just uh, we we did not see either of our Grove oils, um, so that's uh, that was the unfortunate part of that that draw there. And getting the two t the two tails on the timer ball was also pretty uh, pretty bad for us. But, um, yeah, that's about it for me on this one. So uh, thank you so much for whomever uh, stopped by. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope you had fun watching. I had a ton of fun playing. And, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.